Hello and welcome to this tutorial on using the Get Swift Driver Dispatch app with the Urban Grocery Delivery System. Let's get started. So first we see the screen here. We're logged on to the back end of the Urban Grocery Delivery System. And first thing I want to bring to your attention is System Info Agents screen. Now, it's not required they enter your drivers here, but this would al allow you to choose from a list of drivers when you have an order on, they display on the order screen. And probably secondarily, or maybe more importantly, you can assign an agent ID. Now, if you want the agent ID to um, upload automatically to your driver, so when you upload the orders to Get Swift app and you want them to automatically dispatch, be dispatched to a given driver, then you should have this agent ID be the same ID that the driver signed up with. So if Richard Urban here has an agent ID of, and generally that's their email, info5 at urbangrocery.com, then when I upload an order that's assigned to Richard Urban, it's going to be automatically dispatched. Now, if you do not want it automatically dispatched, do not put their agent ID, ID here. Leave it blank. Okay, so that's the first thing I want to point out. Another thing I want to point out here is on the, under the delivery period screen here, that's under stores, hours, schedules. When you set up your delivery periods in the urban grocery delivery system back end, like here we have three periods, 11 to 1, 1 to 3, 3 to 5 then delivery period begin and delivery period end needs to be on the universal or i guess it's called military time clock to work with the get swift app so then this is going to um dispatch the orders with the right be beginning and ending times on the app if you don't fill these in then they won't appear and the driver won't know what time to deliver the order so 11 to 1 needs to be put here 11 semicolon 00 to 1300, 1 to 3 would be 1300 to 1500, 3 to 5, 1500 to 1700. So using that, a universal or military type time is required if you want to use the Get Swift app. Otherwise, the driver won't know what time frame to deliver the order. So those are two things I wanted to point out on the back end. In the next segment, Let's go ahead and get onto the Get Swift app and have a look there. Now we've logged into the Get Swift app. So we will send you an invitation to be a user of the app, and then you will make your own account and log in. So these are the merchant settings. So put your email here, dispatch phone number if that applies, time zone. Upload your company logo here. That'll show up in tracking map and emails you send from the app. And choose the new job driver notification method. Notify all drivers, manually notify. Or there's also other options. Notify a specific driver. So you can, you can choose that. And then you'll uh, click update. Say your advanced settings here, the standard recommended delivery time in minutes, maximum miles radius cutoff for driver notifications. In other words, if they're within a certain distance. Default delivery fee, that probably wouldn't apply since you're using the urban grocery delivery system to set the fees. And uh, there are other options you can choose here. Check or uncheck. Require proof of delivery on delivery completion, like a signature, a photo, or both. So since the jobs will be scheduled for time periods, this will say when the driver, if say you have automatic notification of the driver, when the driver will be notified, like 90 minutes ahead or however minutes you say, hours after due date before unaccepted jobs are automatically canceled. If that applies, you can put that. And there are other options too. Some of them may not apply. So those you set up in the merchant settings. 
on the user screen, you can add other users who will be able to manage your dispatch account. On the download app screen, you'll see that it's available and you can search for it on Google Play or the Apple Store. There are also help videos available from Get Swift. You can see them linked here under the Merchant Settings um, selection. By clicking on the menu icon here, you can get a more detailed menu. For instance, you can click on Drivers, and then you're going to see, of course, this, you'll just see your, your um, company here. And then you'll see a list of who the drivers are that are approved. And actually, this showing that driver William Tester is active. That's actually me. You can also set fleet areas. That means you could set a fleet of certain drivers for certain areas. Under the button here, New, you can assign a new driver, which would move them to a certain fleet. Or you could invite a driver by sending them an email, and then they can respond, and then you can approve them. Or you can add a new driver in the back end, too, by putting their full name, email, username, and phone, so they can also sign up that way. So that's how you can um, build your fleet of drivers. Now we're on the order screen on the demo site on the back end. So you can see that there's three orders here for tomorrow, August 24, 2020. Now here's where we can assign a driver. So it looks like um, I'm the driver here. Now, remember, if you put in the, um, in the agent screen, which is here under System Info Agents, if you put in there the um, agent ID and the agent ID matches one of the actual drivers, those orders will be automatically assigned. So if you want to assign them manually, leave this blank. So here you can assign the different drivers to the order. So either they'll be automatically notified or you could leave that blank or assign the orders, um, use the driver app to assign them that way. But you can also mark them here. And again, if this uh, driver or what we call agent has an ID that matches one of the actual drivers, they'll be automatically notified after you upload the orders to be dispatched. So the next thing you could do is to dispatch the orders, go to the dispatch orders screen. So this shows also past orders too for other dates. So what we can do is search here. First of all, we can mark whether the orders have been dispatched or not on the screen here. So presumably these would already be marked as dispatched if you're using this functionality. So you could, for instance, dispatch, choose search for orders dispatch a different driver or different, a certain start time and end time. So the start time means includes the date. So if we want to just select orders where the start time or date is 824, we'll choose that and click search. So now we have the orders for tomorrow. Next, you will select, so these orders are going to be dispatched. Now, remember, it should show here in earliest finish date time, the time, as I said, 11, 13, or 1500. If this is missing, then the driver is not going to get notified what time the order needs to be done, like between 11 and 1300. Next, we'll choose 
prepare orders for dispatch. So what's going to happen here is a file is going to be created called orders to dispatch.txt. So you want to save that file any place on your computer where you could find it. So I think I'm just going to put it in um, the temporary file here and save it. Okay, so now we have the file ready to upload to the GetSwift backend or admin area. Next, from the main dashboard, we're going to click the plus sign to upload the orders from the urban grocery delivery system. Select batch. So now we're on the batch screen. We'll choose a template Mariano's. Choose a file we just selected and saved called orders to dispatch. And then select that file. File uploaded successfully. Receive email and the jobs have finished processing. So generally, these will upload quite quickly. And then when we go to the map, we'll see the jobs have uploaded there. So let's do that. We'll click on map. Now we see that it's showing us where the jobs are. These are locations of businesses I've chosen in Gurney, Illinois. And the names of the person. It's saying it's in the future because these are for tomorrow. 3 to 5 p.m., 1 to 3 p.m., 11 to 1 p.m. So now if a particular driver had been chosen, as I said, who was registered with a certain email, and you'd enter that email in the uh, agents field on the back end, then this would already be assigned to a driver. So what you can do by clicking on the order is you can assign it to a driver. So if you have drivers in the field, they can it will be assigned to them automatically if you want, or if not, you know, you will go ahead and assign it to them on this screen. And then you can set up so that the customer can also receive notification of when the order is arriving. And that you can find help on the GetSwift app. So I hope this gave you an idea of the functionalities of um, using the GetSwift app. And we will see you next time.